many sound-making devices. It was wrapped around her and there were diamonds on its back. And she had a pattern on her face too. One of my tasks today is to share with you 10 to dreams I dreamed between September 2019 and March 2020. I don't recognize it. Before all this happened. There was a firehouse dollhouse in the hallway and a dark wooden floor. She said it was for her rat, which made sense at the time, even though she had a snake. March 10th, 2020. Dreamed about an electric sea creature like a rainbow undulating slinky escaping from a tank and trying to get it back in I the I knew tank. it was yesterday, but I didn't recognize the town we were in. Is this a dream? Then we were outside in a pool, like in a courtyard, hotel, or complex or something. And in I was dream, I was just watching her and the There's a character I'm trying to follow. Swirling around each other. Become, it was beautiful. Named the Texas Intellectual. Dream begins running. Swimming? Dream begins swirling. Drowning. Dream flying. Dream begins falling. It was an old town square. Dream begins running, dream begins running. I was running, the dream begins with me running. So, in this dream, there's a character I'm trying to follow him and actually becoming named the Texas Intellectual. He's a rabbi, he's like a rabbi in a woolly mammoth, or at least somehow related to woolly mammoths. Maybe I'd like to point out world, that Dave is just holding up a very nice carpet. Is it a magic carpet? Dream begins, begins running over some day. dunes, revealing an expansive beach at sunset. Is that you? Yeah, it was me in the dream. Yeah, it was me in the dream. Some dreams you're not sure if it's you or not, like if you're in a variation of yourself. No, this was me, and I was there on the beach at sunset. It was like the TV show Lost, this dream, this dream. It was like the TV show Lost, like, you know, the TV show Lost, right? It was like that. It was like, you know, in all the good ways, the cast was the right kind of TV diverse, hard bodies, Burning Man hipsters, at least one kind of every race, uh, but like two or three white people, because you have to claim what you're diversifying from. In this dream world, you can see the animal that I don't recall the individual rubbing person anything evolved with. from. I just had a white towel in my hand and started wiping it down. spirit animal. And then there were these filthy, dusty streaks on the towel. Somehow 
on my dream, I knew it was yesterday. I saw you standing along the same wall where we met, and the wall was the same, but the town was different. In my dream, it was an old town square I don't recognize. Why do I keep winding up at church? February 28th, 2020. Most people on the beach are younger than me, and I'm not trying to make it with anyone. That's unusual. I dreamed that an old man who ran a coffee shop was trying to force me to eat his homemade stew, and my friends and I pushed him into the fireplace. He screamed as the embers burnt his legs. Flash forward, and the old man is one of a number of disabled nope. astronauts. Nope. And he's planning his revenge. I guess the other people didn't like it. The ones who don't like snakes, or maybe it was the diamonds on its back. Like, I'm not here to make it with people younger than me. I'm a big flirt, but you can't flirt on Zoom because you know Corona. You can't flirt on Zoom. Even my goddamn dark. dreams, I'm still on Zoom calls. The next thing I remember is being back at the pool, and they were swimming in a large, thin, green plastic net. You can't float in the net, right? That's not a thing, right? You, you can't float on Zoom. You can't splashy splashy in the water on Zoom. You can't lean into people on Zoom. You can't lean into people. But in my dream, on the beach, at sunset, that's not where my mind was. My mind wasn't on the TV, diverse hard bodies and hipsters. I had this pit in my stomach. Everyone was having a pretty good time. I thought they should be somber. No, beach was teeming, and everyone was in a pretty good mood. They were all splashy splashy in oiled bodies and volleyball, and I was like, why are you guys all so close to one another? Why are you sharing beers and hugging? You can't be sharing beers and February hugging. February 16th, 2020. Dreamed that I did something really bad, like I keep running into my mother in my subconscious. But I didn't say anything. Of course, I just fumed silently, hoping no one would look over at me. Very lightly. That guy's definitely not the fun one. Like, like I committed murder, and it just it hurt my credit score. That guy's definitely not the fun one. We're the fun ones. That guy's definitely not the fun one. I remember the brown bodies particularly. <laughs> Younger, fitter, smarter, more open-minded people than I ever was, but especially likable was this very large, very chubby, very tall, long-haired guy who seemed to be the leader, or at least the enabler of this good time. Jesus, you should have seen this guy, he was a presence, but pretty chill. Long t-shirt, board shorts, smirk instead of smile. He walked while everyone else ran. She said the ran. firehouse dollhouse was for her rat. I didn't question that she also had a snake. February 7th, 2020 had a dream that a cute girl in a bathroom asked me to watch her pop a huge pimple on her calf. Insert picture of the big guy here. Is that your body hair? No, it's my head hair, Aaron, and it's totally natural. It felt so strange knowing it was I also yesterday. Walked. For the wall to be the same, the town to be different, I walked over to you, and you looked at me I with certainty in your eyes. It was more about watching familiar. what Big Guy was up to. I'll keep calling him Big Guy. I don't know if that was his name. I don't know if that's offensive, but I'm a small guy. Can't relate at all. I mean, you should have seen this guy. Not to get too hung up on anything, but he was huge. Big Guy began initiating a game. I don't understand the rules, but everyone else seemed to. But I played along, of course. I played along. I didn't want to be left out. Beach, in the sunset, the therapist's short, office, games. there were many devices making sounds to make speech indecipherable. Uh, Dreaming of a language composed only of sibilants. Sibilants? I wanted all those things. First, so a ton of pus so came out of the girl's leg, but then slowly the an entire colorful beaded necklace emerged. So into, so and when the out. necklace was fully out, her whole lower leg fell off and was revealed to be hollow and filled with pill bottles and stuff. My leg, Ew. she gasped. My leg. Like, I didn't necessarily want to win this game, but I wanted to game the system, so I tried to game the system. on all four walls. I didn't recognize it. It's very scary when the hero loses his cool.
So I want to game the system. Sorry. So I want to game the system. I want to impress Big Guy. Leave the beach entirely. I, I, I'm back behind dunes. It's pretty run down. Mostly concrete. January 13th, like 2020. Urine, had a dream. I was in the Arctic at some newfangled sex place that felt like a clinic where they randomly paired people up. The amount of grass, that's sad. Not enough to be cute. Should have been left out altogether. Blinding sun. And I love the sun. Like, I love the sun. But this sun was oppressive. It's a sunny day in that way you look up and remind it. This star is going to burn all life to death one day. Who is that? Who's what is that? I can't see on the screen. Who is that? I don't know what I'm looking at. Hey, I don't know what that is. It was like the one my parents had when I was growing up. They were swimming in a green plastic net, like the kind you get when you buy a bag of limes. And the snake was swirling around. At the sex clinic, there were a lot of hot young girls, maybe too young, but they matched me up with an old white man, and I was like, hell no! All this to say that I love the beach, but I couldn't understand what I was seeing. I couldn't understand what was happening in the screen. And the bar, then my dad showed up to get me out of there. The impressive sun had ruined the beach for me. The big guy in his stupid game had ruined the beach for me. The absence of masks and the sharing of beers and the hugging had ruined the beach for me. So I'm running into the back of a bodega. I don't know who let me in this place. So I realized when I look at a painting, I go into it. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. Is that a photograph of Alan? They look like Alan. Dad? Is that you? Why do I keep winding up at church? Can I see you? Excellence. December 16th, 2019. Right before I got up to pee, I dreamed I was peeing a ton of almost brown <laughs> Dream begins. Is this a dream? You can't tell if it's a dream version of my mom. Dream begins to my mom or close to my mom. <laughs> Yeah. 
Jesus, you mirror. tell you guys about my dream. I am underwater and I'm struggling. I'm struggling underwater and I'm basically waiting to drown and waiting to die. And this goes on for a really long time and I keep waiting for it to be over, but it doesn't end. So I eventually wonder, can I breathe underwater? And I stop struggling so much and I calm down a little bit and I noticed these bubbles near me going up uh, and I think maybe I'm getting my oxygen from those bubbles. Very video game logic. Um, so anyway, I calm down and I start um, exploring this underwater space and I trace the objects that I see around me. Fish, shells, seaweed, I trace these objects with my finger and my finger becomes a pen or maybe it was always a pen and then a paintbrush or maybe it was always a paintbrush. So I'm moving through this underwater space, tracing the objects I see, uh, the beings I see, um, and indexing, making a taxonomy. And I make my way into a room that's like the room of a museum with landscape paintings on all 
four walls. And the ceiling is the surface of the water with sunlight hitting it. And it feels really similar to when you're in a museum and there's a big skylight and the sun coming in and you can see all the paintings in natural light. So I start going from painting to painting and I realize when I look at a painting, I go into it. So if there are clouds in the painting, there are clouds above me. And that feels just like the surface of the water with the sunlight hitting it. And it feels like a skylight with clouds on the other side. So I'm going from painting to painting and I get to a painting of a door. So I have this reoccurring dream that I live in a tunnel. The tunnel can go between every major city in the world at breakneck speed, but I can't control where it takes me. I love being in the tunnel, but technically I'm a prisoner of it. I can never leave. in here. But I'm really enjoying that too. I'm not sure if there's authority figures here, but if there are, I don't think they're trustworthy. All in all, life in the tunnel ain't so bad. I took your hand and I followed you. You felt familiar again. It was big enough for her and the snake to be fully inside and swim around each other. And the snake was swirling around her. It was incredible. It was colorful and animated like an old cartoon. 
until she pulled it back into the net. Then it changed back to real life and continued to swim. It is always nice to run into my mom and my subconscious. Hey, mom. I took your hand and followed you. Mom? I took my hand and I followed you. We stepped onto a cobblestone road, and the light in the sky was salmon color, almost rosy. I asked where we were going, and you said we were going to wash away the pain we've been holding. In my dream, we never got to any water. We were just walking hand in hand, and then I woke up. different for most people I know. There's something about the super cute in your eyes that wasn't familiar. October 2nd, Are 2019. You? Are you real? Dreamed extensively about some nice girls I was very attracted to. <laughs> Last girl I so I found myself in the back of a bodega. I'm in the back of a bodega, I'm running out of the back of a bodega. And a business woman who lived in a tall building in NYC. And I've got this case of not wine cooler in my arms, and I'm worried I might be stealing it. I was about to leave. I was about to leave the bodega, and big I was there in the entry, and I was about to leave. There he was, two bags of empties in the case of time. Maybe he, uh, uh, there he was, big guy. Jesus, 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 this guy. Maybe the room was smaller than when I first entered. I couldn't tell. But I looked at him, and I was like, look at this expensive case of liquor I found, big guy. He looked at me like, attaboy, but I'll take that expensive case of liquor right now. I'm like, are you serious? He was serious. This was a very serious dream. But he wasn't intimidated at all. He wasn't intimidating. He made a little, like, flinch action, just a flinch action. But I wasn't intimidated. In fact, I was, I agreed, I, he was agreeable, very agreeable, I agreed we should have this case, I understood. But yeah, I was a She was a businesswoman in NYC, but when I came into her apartment late one night, there was hay all over the floor, and she was milking We said we were going cow. to wash away the pain we've been holding. Sidebar, I don't know if Looting really meant something different. Explain that she produced all her own food. I don't all think I've ever said? seen a firehouse dollhouse. Uh, Definitely not that dusty or for rats. Now looting and destroying. Seriously, see how do I keep winding up at church? Why do I, I keep that. thinking about church? Do that. I don't know. I'm a capitalist. I'm a capitalist. She was swimming with the snake in a semi-public pool and they were inside a green plastic net so other people felt comfortable swimming too. Well, the snake was swirling around her. I guess I bought the potato juice I sprinkled on these apple slices to cook the cheese and biting into a crisp one. Whatever. No, I'm really sorry. You shouldn't have this case, big guy. You shouldn't have this case. I really shouldn't have the case, big Maybe you really, really, really shouldn't have this case. I knew that. Steal it. It was an old 
Town Square I don't recognize. The wall was the same. September 12, 2019. Dream that a non-Jewish critic in the mold of Anthony Bourdain was subbing for the regular food critic in an Orthodox Jewish magazine and was assigned to review a cafeteria. He said, well, the secret is you can just walk into the kitchen and ask the chefs. He walked in and said, hi, so I've got food poisoning from your food. What might be the cause? The chef groaned and said, I'm so but sorry. I, I think it's the tomato sauce. But I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I remember that. I remember not saying anything aloud in this dream. She pulled it back through the net. by stealing a bodega, stealing from a bodega, but to the water before I woke up. 